Hey everybody, welcome to What Was That About? I'm Dr. Tony Soldano, the lead pastor here at All People's Church in Brampton, Ontario, Canada. Well, normally, you know, uh, Pastor Moses is with me, my partner in crime in these programs, but today he's behind the camera helping us out, and so we appreciate those that will lend, you know, a helping hand anywhere that they can. That is what we call amazing teamwork. But anyways, I do want to share a few thoughts tonight regarding what is happening in our nation, particularly with parental rights. So some of you may be aware, I would think that most of you would be aware that there was a, a parade, not a parade, but a a, a gathering of uh, parents, concerned parents on September the 20th. They were uh, wanting to hold a march. That's the word I'm looking for, a march, a one million people march consisting of concerned parents uh, regarding all this radical sexualization that is happening in the schools. I'm not uh, quite sure if they've reached a million people, but I know that thousands gathered in various cities and including in the capital city of Ottawa, right in front of the parliament buildings. Now, why, why are these parents, number one, concerned? Why are they uh, pushing back against this radical sexualization and indoctrination of their children, and why has this now risen to the to the surface? And how are people reacting? Everyday people, uh, people in government, our prime minister, uh, so on and so forth. You, first of all, you you would think that this wouldn't even be necessary because at at the school level, the voices and desires and you know, of parents for their own children, for their own children would be heard. But unfortunately, we're living in a day in this nation where the voices of parents don't seem to matter anymore. Their rights are being eroded consistently, particularly at the whim of this movement, this movement that is uh, is really taking over the schools and is taking over the nation and is being supported by left-wing propaganda, the media, and of course, those that are in power in the government. And so parents have taken to the streets to demonstrate, to march, to say we've had enough. We don't want our children sexualized in homosexuality, in gender confusion, and so on and so on forth. And all the movement that has to do with you know trans, transgenderism, uh, et cetera. Now, here, here is the most disturbing part about this particular subject. Not that, number one, the parents have to march because they're not being heard at, at school levels and school boards and trustees and so forth just don't seem to care what parents have to say anymore. You know, in my day, when parents called and spoke, it, it mattered. Their, their voice was weighty. Today, you're just, you're just, uh, you're noise. You're just, you know, some kind of sound that they hear and that they very conveniently ignore. So parents take to the streets. But what is phenomenal is that these parents, everyday people, whether they're Christian, Muslim, Sikh, people even that don't have a, a faith, but maybe have a more of a conservative value that are saying, we don't want our children uh, indoctrinated into these lifestyles. And what they're saying is, hey, when, when they turn 18, if, if they want reaffirming surgery or, you know, whatever, they can do that. They can make their decision when they become adults. But what happened to that, by the way? What, what happened to uh, parenting children until they're responsible enough to make very, very serious decisions? And by the way, I recognize this is a complex subject, but these are serious decisions. The decisions that that children are making and are being allowed to make are are catastrophic that there's there's no return to some of these decisions that are being made and they're not ready they're not ready to make these decisions and this is what parents are saying this is what they are talking about they're not haters they're not against anybody they're not against groups they're saying these are our children and we're concerned for our children, and we're concerned for our rights as parents. Isn't it amazing that when children commit crimes or whatever, we, we come after the parents and say, well, 
Where are the parents? And why aren't the parents responsible? Why aren't they accountable? We hold them accountable. And yet when it comes to these matters, it seems like parents don't even exist that their voice, their wisdom, their knowledge, what they believe is best for their children doesn't count. Because somewhere the government, somewhere the government, and we see this in the United States as well, has this philosophy now that the children belong to them. The children belong to the government. Therefore, the government will deem what is right for these children. And, and here's the issue. The issue is number one, the government does not exactly have a good track record in history when it comes to children. When they get involved in the lives of children, um, and, and 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 I can go into this whole, you know, this whole spiel about what, what has been in even in our nation with regarding to the, you know, to the native children and being taken away from the from their parents, which by the way, I know the government loves to blame the church. The government was involved in that, but of course. They just wash their hands from this. And by the way, this is not an anti-government rant. This is this is saying, where are we today when the leader of the nation stands up and begins to demonize everyday, good, decent people, calling them haters and that they don't have a place in this country? Are, are you kidding me right now? You know, we, we demonized, you know, they demonized the truckers because the truckers were right wing and they were going to take over the country and froze their accounts and, 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 and made them pay a severe price. Every day, tax paying people. And now that same rhetoric is being applied to parents, that parents that care for their children are haters, that they're out there against something. Listen, these parents are not against anything per se, other than protecting their children from indoctrination. And here's, here is what they're, what, what they're saying. Wait till our children are 18 years old. Wait till they can make a reasonable decision for themselves. Not because of an agenda, not because of lobbyists, not because of people in places of influence that are pushing this lifestyle. That's what they're saying. They're, they're not hating anybody. What they're saying is we care about our children and we don't want them indoctrinated. And by the way, when it comes to the subject of indoctrination, this isn't even a conspiracy anymore. Look at every pride parade. They're in the streets. They're chanting it. They're singing it. We're coming after your children. It's, 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 in, your it's in your face. It's blatant. I'm not making this stuff up. They are literally telling us what they are going to do. And, and now the moment I say something, we become conspiracy theorists. We become haters. No, listen, we're, we're, we're not haters. And by the way, even, even as a pastor, a person of faith, Here's, here's what our Bible teaches. Make the decisions you want to make. And based on your decisions, there are rewards and there are consequences. And you will pay on either side of the ledger, if you will. But here's what, here's what is being said. When we begin to come after children, innocent minds, pure minds that are being poisoned, that are being poisoned, that are being influenced in a negative way, and when those that have traditional opinions and beliefs and philosophy stand up and say, we don't want this for our children, suddenly they become haters. Suddenly we have the government saying that the children are at risk in schools and they're at risk in their homes because, because someone doesn't agree with the propaganda that, that is being shared. When, when did parental rights all of a sudden become an evil thing? And how is it that everything must bow? It's like, particularly the leader of our nation, it's, nothing matters other than gay rights, trans rights. Those, those rights seem to trump every other right that, whether it's a faith right, a parental right, every other right seems to be trumped and has to bow down to the rights of this lifestyle. My friends, something is seriously wrong in our nation. Something is seriously off when we have the leader of the nation calling everyday good, decent people haters 
because they don't want their children indoctrinated. So I say, yay, yay to those parents that took to the streets, yay to those parents that took to Ottawa and other major cities. Carry on. May there be thousands and millions and may the voices of everyday people be heard. Do you know why? They're not out there hating. They're out there because they actually love their children. They care for their children. And so my friends, listen, we cannot give in to what is going on in this day because something is totally off. The axis is off in our nation. It's happening in America. It's happening in the Western world and other nations and continents. Africa is looking at Western at Western uh, uh, civilization and saying, hey, don't, don't bring this stuff into our nation. Don't bring this stuff into our continent. But somehow we have allowed it to go too far. People know that it's gone too far. And now they are pushing back. And I say, well done. Good for you. Keep going. Keep going and just get louder because it's the children. It's the children that are at risk here. Thanks for joining me. I'm Tony Soldano. God bless you.